So, you have probably seen videos and images done with Blender and been amazed by what this software can achieve in experienced hands. The capabilities of Blender range from simple line drawings and cartoons to photo quality renders used in product and architectural advertisements. However, its main power comes from moving pictures, from simple animations of a bouncing ball all the way to mind-blowing CGI used in films. Being open source, Blender is software anyone can use, and best of all, it's free. All you need is the time and persistence to learn how to use it. The first version of Blender was created back in 1994, when a commercial company called Neo Geo created the first commercial release of the program based on its own in-house software. Four years later, in 1998, a new company called Nimba was created to further promote the use of the software, releasing it as IRIX freeware, which was quickly followed by Linux and Windows versions. Unfortunately, trading conditions were tough in the following years, and in 2002 the company had to shut down. However, the lead developer, Tom Rosendahl, didn't want to see the software he had worked so hard to develop be consigned to the scrap heap. So an agreement was made that if €100,000 could be raised, the software would be released as open source. The free Blender campaign was started, and after a short crowdfunding appeal on the internet, Tom had his money. In October 2002, Blender was reborn, this time as free and open source software. Blender has changed a lot since then, with over 70 updates the program is now at the time of making this video at version 2.91. I know some of you will be thinking Blender's code is more than 25 years old, so must be outdated. Well it's not. Over the years since being launched as open source, the code has undergone several refactors and had a couple of interface redesigns keeping it up to date with current hardware and interface design philosophy. In fact, Blender is possibly the fastest developing creative software out there. You have seen the amazing things Blender can do and probably flicked through some of the many thousands of tutorials that are available on the internet. So what would be different about Different Angle 3D? Well, I came to Blender from a slightly different angle to most users, being an experienced and now old mechanical engineer with over 17 years under my belt learning and using Blender. Over these years I have used Blender to illustrate industry guidance documents and in the creation of training and safety animations. I have even used Blender throughout the entire product design pipeline, from the initial concept visualisation through to the production drawings, sales literature, technical manuals and training materials. The intention of this tutorial series will be to give the user a good understanding of how to use Blender's tools to create your own models, whether that's a cartoon representation or a precision model for production. Alongside the Blender tutorials, I will also be building a 3D printer kit so I can show how to prepare a mesh model ready for print. It's also possible to output G-code from a Blender model allowing you to cut out or engrave the models using a CNC router or engraver. As I progress over the coming months, the tutorials will build in a structured way, taking you through the basics and on to more complex modelling and animation projects. Learning the basics might not be as exciting as following a tutorial on a complex fluid simulation or character animation, but without the basics you may find yourself getting stuck when trying to create your own models. Over the past years, to support the Blender community, I've produced a number of tutorials and released two books. Back in 2007 I released free to the community the Blender Precision Modeling Guide. This was for Blender 2.43 and adopted a 3D CAD type workflow showing readers how to model accurately. Over the years the book has probably been downloaded well over a million times, though it's now withdrawn being completely out of date with Blender 2.9. More recently, in 2019, I've self-published 3D computer graphics using Blender 2.80, Modeling Methods, Principles and Practices, which walks a user through the basics and on to create a complex model 
followed by lighting, rendering and a fly-through animation. If you want to get a head start on this tutorial series, the book might be a good place to begin. I'm Robert Burke and I hope you've enjoyed looking at some clips from the old Neo Geo films and some of the Blender movies that go off to show just some of the capabilities that have been developed over the years by this program. The best is the program is open for anybody to use if you've just got a medium based home computer. There is one warning I'd like to give with Blender and that is it will, when you start and start to understand it, become very all consuming and take an awful lot of your time at the computer. So I suggest you take time every hour to have a break from the screen and give your eyes a break to allow them to focus on other things. It's also extremely sedentary sitting at a computer, so make time to get out and do something more physical, even if it's just walking the dogs a few miles every day.